Hey everybody, my name is Matt Saletti. I'm a DubSpot instructor here. I teach sound design synthesis, teach machine class, and I'm also a Native Instruments product specialist. And today I really want to talk to you about the new DubSpot online course for machine. It's a three level course and it is super affordable and it's going to get you up and running on your way to becoming a machine wizard, as I like to say. Level one, we're going to do stuff like basic beat building, composing, sequencing, working your way around the machine controller and software. Level two, we're gonna get into more advanced sampling techniques and how to incorporate sampling into your setup. And then level three, we're gonna dig deeper into some of the plugin parameters as well as performance tools. So you can actually get up in front of people and, you know, rock a beat. Excellent, so first thing I did here was load up some drums that we're gonna affect with a multi-effect chain. So we're gonna show you how to build a multi-effect and then we're also going to show you how to save some patterns because a theme I always like to talk about is don't do this work when <laughs> you know, you're not going to save it and utilize it later when you need it. And Machine makes it very easy to actually save all this stuff. So first thing I did was I just have a nice little halftime kind of feel um, with some nice kind of like a reggae drums. So, you know, nice rim shots, stuff like that. And what we're gonna do is run this all through a multi-effect. So I'm gonna use a new group, group H, and you're gonna start with sound one. And from sound one, you want to choose input. This way input, it knows things can be routed through it because it's an actual input. And then on module two, you're gonna place the effect that you like. So first thing we're gonna work with is a delay. We want a nice little delay. Now keep in mind, this can be the internal effects, which I'm gonna be using or your plugins as well. So if I wanted to go in and throw in, you know, third-party plugins, be my guest. Same thing works. So first thing we want to do is name this so we don't get confused since we're going to be building a few effects here. And this is the delay send. Now, what you want to do is click on the one to create a new pattern. So the reason I'm doing a pattern here, and I'm just going to double this because let's look here. This is a four-bar loop. So let's also time this to be a four-bar loop. So pattern one is going to be my delay send. I don't want the delay running at all the times, and we'll show you why. First, let's go ahead and route this. So you're gonna route from the group out. So you come to group, come to out, and select from your list of outputs the new input. Remember, this is only gonna show up here when it's an input. So now we have our delay as the input. And so when we come here and hit play, Everything's running through that delay now. Now, why is this a bad thing to have the whole thing going? Well, this takes up a lot of room in your mix and kind of sounds real messy. You know, it might sound nice on the hi-hats or something, but not on the low frequencies, anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I just kind of want to accentuate those rim shot hits. So first thing we're gonna do is turn the mix all the way down. Now we won't hear it. So the way I do this is I make sure this paint is on and I come in and I add a modulator. And so from the modulators, you'll be able to see every single setting that's available on this sound. And so when we come to delay, let's look at the mix. Now I have paint on because I'm going to draw in the hits where I want. So let's listen where that first rim shot comes in. Right here on the two. So if we click and remember, this is only when you have paint on, we can actually draw in the amount and look up here in the software and you will see as I adjust this dial, how much mix you're actually bringing in. If you want to delete something, just right click it. So we have zero mix. Let's just give it a splash of delay and listen what it sounds like. So we gave it a splash, but we never ended it. So what I do here, and again, you can zoom in. Let's zoom in from the controller. so We can really see what we're doing. Let's give it a nice splash about here. And then as I'm drawing in, I'm just gonna draw the fade outs with the mouse. And I do this with the mouse because it's, it's a little more precise. And I just have to dip below this line here to cut it. So let's hear. And on the next one, let's actually go in. I'm gonna zoom back out so we can see. Let's do another one, except this one will kind of drag out for a longer and maybe even come back in and out. Let's hear from the beginning. So 
right there, we just made that drum pattern a lot more interesting. And now what do we do? Well, we save this. Now the way I do this is, since I'm making a multi-effect, I save this as a group, because I'm gonna put more effects in here. And when you save as a group, it'll save with these patterns as well. So let's go in, save as, and I'm gonna call this Matt's Delay Chain. Once it's saved, let's just go look for in the groups, and I'm gonna type in Matt's Delay Chain. Here it is. We wanna come in and edit this right away. So we wanna add some custom you know, attributes to it. So I always add actually custom favorites, these kind of things that I've made my own attributes. Remember, you just come in here and type whatever you want. We could call it future, you know, whatever we like. Once it's in there, hit apply. I have it saved as multi-effect. So it's easier to find next time. So now that we've got that, we're pretty much set up. Let's close out that browser. We don't need to look at that anymore. So next thing I wanna do is duplicate this pattern because I like this and I don't wanna mess that up. So each time you're gonna duplicate when you're adding onto these, otherwise you're just gonna be recording over what you just made. So now we have the same pattern on both of these. Let's come in and create a new one. Again, input. Let's find something wonderfully crazy like the Rezo chord. And I'm gonna call this one Rezo. And what we're gonna do is drive the output of this sound to the Rezo, because we're kind of just chaining these, and this one's gonna chain on the next. So maybe we'll draw in, you know, something with the Rezo now. So you see what happens? Since the chain is coming through, as soon as we put this in, it's gonna play through. So first thing we wanna do, probably lower our mix, or let's just play it and get our settings straight first. Excellent. I like how that sounds. Now let's add our modulators in. We can do this a couple ways. We can actually, again, draw it in or we can automate it in. So let's actually now automate on the machine controller. Beautiful. And we can keep adding this automation. So let's mess around a little more. And again, I can do this with as many parameters inside the effect that I like. So there, great start again. Now, what are we gonna do? Duplicate that pattern, because we wanna change it up again. So. If you get the idea, you know, I can create multiple different patterns. Maybe, you know, I make five different delay only patterns where I bring in the mix at different hits, the snare, the kick, the hi-hat. So you want to schedule this out however you want, or you can just keep adding on and making crazier and crazier sounds, which is probably what I'm going to do here. So let's look at something like the grain stretch. Crazy way to create, you know, stutters. I have my stretch on. And let's actually modulate the on off here. Now let's look at our parameters here.
So you get the idea. You can just keep creating these new crazy things as long as you route the outputs and the inputs properly. There you go. You have a chain. When you're always done, save it, and it will remember. And then you can always bring in your patterns and actually affect these on the fly, too. Select your patterns. Just want a little delay, and then crazy. And then the great thing up there, when you start arranging your scenes, come to a new scene, and we'll select different patterns to affect each one differently. So as I come in, let's select those patterns. Uh, two, and scene three, pattern two. Here we go. And there you have it, making some multi-effects and tweaking the automation parameters. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.